Hey everyone, welcome back to the Xcode Ford tutorial where we're going over the table view in part two. Go back to part one if you're just catching this. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to go to the section here. And uh, speaking of the table view, we're going to click on the section. And what we're going to do is reduce it to two rows. So you can see how we, we can uh, adjust the, the cells within there. But what I want to do also is add another section to this uh, table view. So go ahead and click your table view and add another section so you can see we've duplicated section two here and now what we're gonna do is is modify the headers which are these guys right here and then we're gonna put some content within the cells and finally we're gonna add a footer and you know most of this stuff you you wouldn't do for everything but it's just again to show you how it works so what we're gonna do first off is within your first section go ahead and click your first section you'll see it highlights the area we'll see we've got a header that we can have modify so in this case, we're just going to write uh, something like, what up? And within the footer, write instructions for yo life. So there you go. You got uh, your basic header, and then you've also got a footer below within your section below your cells. So that's kind of the the that's kind of the first start to this uh, table view assigning the section and whatnot now the next step is going to be assigning these cells and this is going to be where we want the the user basically to click and move on to a different screen or maybe click and select an option and we assign an action to that option so in this case click your cell and you'll have a whole ton of options that come up now the first thing you see is the style we've got a few different options we've got the custom which we could uh, maybe assign different uh, images and whatnot to it but uh, what I want you guys to see is go ahead and click one of the other ones. So you can see basic turns it into a title. Uh, we could go with the right detail. So we've got a title and detail, so on and so forth. So as you guys are moving down the list, you'll see different ways that we can assign the title, detail, and what the user is going to see. So in this case, we're just going to go with right and detail. And that's just because I like the way it's set up. We can put a title in here. So uh, let's put... Uh, what up, uh, sky? And then uh, for this over here, it's blue. All right, so when people come to your screen, they're gonna see the header, and that's gonna be like, okay, what up? And then the next thing they're gonna go to is your cells below. But uh, as we're looking at this first cell, we've got other options that are associated. And uh, one of the options you'll see is the selection color. So that's gonna be when they click on the selection, that color that it shows. So we can do gray, non, blue, so on and so forth. And uh, one of the other cool features is the accessory. And you guys have seen this in some of your iOS apps. But uh, if you go to like a detailed disclosure, you're gonna you're basically leading the user to the next screen or whatever they're gonna click on. It's gonna lead them to a detailed disclosure. And uh, last one, dis disclosure indicator. I like this one just because it's small, sleek, all the different. Uh, out of all the different ones there and again you got your editing accessories that we spoke about in the last tutorial so now that you've kinda of got the first section um, in order go ahead and modify your second one to whatever you want you know put in uh, just some basic stuff so now once you've got that uh, the last thing that we're gonna do in this tutorial is hook up another view controller or we're gonna we're gonna assign this cell to do some type of action and in this case, we want to bring them to a different view controller. Um, so we can go and drag another view controller on the screen. And this, again, is as simple as dragging and dropping while holding control to assign that action or that segue in between the two. So that's what we're going to do. Hold control, click and drag from what we want the user to click to the new place of the view controller. And we're going to push it over there with that segue. So now, as the user clicks this, they're going to be jumped over to this view controller where X, whatever X, X being a variable, speaking of crazy programming things, but that's where you're going to assign whatever you guys want. So that gives you an idea of how to hook it up, how to assign your section. Um, the next thing we're going to go through in the next tutorial is, hey, let's uh, let's check, a, let's take a look at some of the, the other details that we can do with the table view to make it sharp and clean, sleek for your users. So I'm going to go ahead and run it for the last thing just so you guys can see what it looks like from the iPhone simulator. Alright, so venture over to the projects, we're going to go to the table view that we just assigned, 
and as you can see it looks really clean it actually a very simplistic um, design as to what we have on the screen the one difference that you'll see is um, before it looked like it cut off the tail view down here but it actually just uh, follows through and it just makes it look clean and, and sleek so you can go ahead and click in some of the other cells that we haven't assigned yet and you'll see that blue indicator that we spoke about uh, as a selection tool there and what we're going to do is go to the sky one that we just assigned and as you can see we've got a fresh uh, view controller that we've segued over with a push so again next tutorial we're going through a little bit more of the details so uh, stay tuned